Kathy was working for the Herald of Truth, and I was working as a part-time youth minister at Hillcrest and also with uh, Avalon Christian High School teaching Bible. We had uh, gone through Christian homes and decided that we wanted to adopt a child, and he was uh, three weeks old when we got him in 1973, and after about six months is when we first found out that he had a problem uh, with uh, his development. I took Scotty in according to Christian Homes for the last checkup, and that's when the doctor said, give him back. Scotty got the diagnosis cerebral palsy. He was microcephalic, opposite of the children with the water on the brain. He was opposite of that. He had told her that there, he was mentally re retarded, and we, of course, were a little bit shaken up at that particular point, but our decision then was if, if it was our own child, we wouldn't give him back, so we decided to go ahead at that particular time and go through the adoption. And he was sick the first 10 years of his life. I mean, every week we saw a pediatrician. And the first four years of his life, he didn't sleep. He stayed up all night. He went through some years with a lot of seizures, and that, those were scary. Those years, it was hard because of feeding, you couldn't feed him what regular kids could eat. Everything had to be like cooked and then mashed or blended. And He turns 35 this year, and his development is under a year old, and everything that he can do, he can't do anything for himself. We, can, we have to do everything for him. Kathy does, anyway, most of it. Our, our, our routine mostly is I get up and feed him breakfast. He has a, a gastrostomy tube, and so I feed him breakfast and check him in the morning, and then he likes to sleep until about one o'clock. Kathy gets him up. She has to carry him in here. He weighs about 125 pounds, and she carries him in here and lays on the floor and she has to feed him his lunch and then make sure that he's changed. She watches him. Of course, she has to be constantly watched all day long. Then uh, she feeds him again in the, around 5 o'clock or so. And then you, a lot of times in the evening, I'll feed him. We'll have to brush his teeth, and then we'll both carry him to bed. Well, the difficulty is just, just being so confined. Sometimes I'd like to just be able to get out and walk around the block. I can't do that. I mean, I have to work it out when Danny comes home if I want to get out and walk. A lot of people who have small, who have babies understand what it's like to, you know, have to spend all day long with the child, have to take a lot of time and get them to go, and you just can't get up and walk out the door. You either have to get a sitter, uh, you have to, or you don't go, or one of you has to watch him so the other one can get out and, or something like that. Uh, We've basically been taking care of a child for 35 years. It requires the same thing. So whereas most parents look forward to being five years old and going to kindergarten, you know, we're seven times that, and we haven't gotten to kindergarten yet. Scotty's helped me as far as my sensitivity and being more observant to people out there that do have a need and maybe even how to, maybe treating people a little bit more gingerly than maybe than some people do because of just knowing what it's like to be in a certain different situation. He, he can't tell me things, but we, we know a lot of things about him. And uh, it's just special.